continuing, we are doing Euclidean geometry this week. This is mathematics. So we're going to go to the next question, which is application of the proportionality theorem. Let's go and check it out. Right. So um, this question is a question that was sent to us via social media, which you also can do by going to the Mindset uh, TV Facebook page and send us a question. And the question that uh, might, says one of those questions that you're sending might win. The best question uh, for a particular week is stands a chance of winning an awesome prize. So you probably want to win something. If you want to win something and also gain a lot of mathematical knowledge, you can do so by just sending the question via our Mindset Facebook page. Okay, now this question reads as follows. In the diagram below, there's a line AD which is parallel to EF. And we're also told that BD is to DC. The ratio of BD is to DC is equal to 2 is to 3. And AE is to EC equals to 2 is to 7. Right. Now, one of the most important things we always emphasize on this show is you need to read the love letter. When you read the love letter, it gives you the opportunity to compare a diagram against the story before you even answer the question. So you take the info from the diagram, I mean from the love letter, you populate the diagram. If you do this, you'll always, always, always do very well in your questions because the biggest mistake you can do is jump right into the questions and start trying to answer them. I promise you, you will never survive if you do that. So what we encourage on this show, we always want you to look at the love letter, analyze it thoroughly, take the info from there and populate the diagram. You'll see once you do that, you are going to be able to find the answers without any challenges. Right. So let's try to do exactly that. First of all, we are told that AD is parallel to EF. So I'm going to put that down and say AD is parallel to EF. Now, I don't like the point that there's a point G there. I feel like when you've got a point G like what you're looking at now, it obstructs the fact that the part DG is also parallel to the part EF. So this is the tip I'm giving to you to say, when this happens, you can put again those arrows here so that it's even more clearer that DG is parallel to EF as well. The whole story of AD being parallel to EF doesn't stop at A, G, and EF, but it does also continue at DG. DG is also parallel to EF. Please pay attention to that. That might be useful as you're proceeding to answer your questions. The next thing that you're looking at is that we're told that DC, uh, BD to DC um, equals to 2 is to 3. Right. So how do you actually express that uh, in a nicer way? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to write it in fraction form. So you're going to say BD, right, divided by DC must give us a value of 2 divided by 3, right? Now, it is at this point where we tell you that this does not mean that the top value, the top side of the triangle, the numerator is equal to the numerator. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that BD is equal to 2. They are not equal. It just means that when you divide the left-hand side, you're going to get 2 over 3. Probably this was 20 over 30. 20 over 30 is 2 over 3. Maybe it was 200 and the other one was 300 centimeters. When you divide the two, you're still going to get 2 over 3. So we don't know where it comes from, but we know that when you divide them, you're going to get an answer of 2 over 3. So we don't know the multiplying factor that led us to this 2 over 3. Now, when you have these kinds of things, this is what you need to do. You're going to go to your ratio and then you're going to say, okay, I don't know what the length of BD is and I don't know what the length of DC is, but I know when you divide them, you're going to get 2 over 3. So I'm going to introduce a variable here, which I'm going to call K. So this is 2K divided by 3K. The K is cancelled in any way, uh, uh, anyway, so this is as good as 2 over 3, so that's what I want you to have. Um, so after writing this 2 over 3 as 2K and 3K, you then go to your diagram. You put your BD as exactly 2K and then you put your DC as exactly 3K. Populate your diagram. Very important for you to do that. Right. Now I'm going to go to the second part of this question, which we are going to put in green, and say that's where AE is to EC was given. So AE divided by EC was given to us as 2 divided by 3. Right. Once more, it doesn't mean that AE equals to 2, but we don't know the multiplying factor, so I'm going to introduce a different variable. So now I'm going to call this one uh, 2t, and I'm going to call this one 3t. Very important for you to do that. Just try not to choose a variable that is already appearing in your diagram. Right. So I'm going to come now to my diagram and populate my diagram with that info. AE is this piece here. We know that this is actually 2t. And then we know that this one here, all the way from E, all the way up to C, uh, that is actually not 3, but it's 7. Very important uh, for us to copy. It's actually 2 is to 7, so this is not 3, but it's 7. Let's fix that up. Right. Absolutely, absolutely awesome stuff. Right. So this is actually going to be 7t. So this is actually 2t is to 7t. Okay, cool. Now, once you're done with this, this is the info from the diagram. 
uh, from the love letter, you just put that on the diagram. When you're done doing that, then you try applying your proportionality theorem, which says what? Which says the ratio on one side is equal to the ratio on the other side if you've got a line that cuts your diagram such that it's parallel to the third side of your triangle. So when I've got a pair of parallel lines, I'll say the other line is cutting my triangle uh, right, the side of my triangle into two equal pieces that are proportional. So what you do on the left, you need to repeat on the right hand side. Okay, cool. So let's see how that is actually going to pan out here. Focus on this triangle, guys. I'm going to highlight it in white. So this triangle here, it's in yellow. Right, I just highlighted that triangle in yellow. If you focus on that triangle right there, we can claim that we've got some form of proportionality going on. So in that triangle, we can claim that the side AE to EC is equal to the side DF to FC because of the proportionality ratio. So what I'm going to write is if this is 2 over 7, if AE to EC is 2 over 7, it means on the other side, we're also going to have 2 something, which in this case, I'm going to introduce a different variable. So 2P and 7P, because the ratios need to be the same. If the other one is 2 over 7, even the other one has to be 2 over 7, right? So I'm going to say DF divided by FC is also 2 over 7. And the reason for this is because we are dealing with the proportionality theorem, since we know that that line EF is parallel to the line AD. Please keep that in mind. I've just populated my diagram with more information. All right, now I want to feel like um, I'm done. I feel like I'm done with my question. The only thing I'm going to actually ask you to pay attention is the following. Look at DC, look at DC guys. I don't know if you can see DC here. The line DC, this line here from D all the way to C, this line, right, has been represented in terms of two different variables. It is 3K, right, and it is also 2P and 7P. So if I want, I can say the following, right, I can um, just say the following. I can say to you, what we have written as 3K, that 3K that you've written can be expressed as 2P plus 7P. We can write that as 2P plus 7P because that's actually the same line, which is the line DC. So if you continue here, you will notice that I can claim that 3K is just simply equal to 9P. And if you divide both sides by 3, your K is just going to come out as 3P. What am I doing here? I want to dump the Ks and start calling them uh, the Ps or dump the Ps and start calling them the Ks. So that means the following. This part here that you're looking at, this part that you see here, that says 2K. I'm going to dump this part and call it two times. We just agreed that our K here at the bottom, this K here, you will see that we said we want it to be equal to 3P. So I'm going to put this as 3P, and this is going to simply give us a value of 6P. That will be the length of BD in terms of P. So I have 6P, right? Now, if I have that, I'm done, because the next thing is to focus on triangle BEF. That triangle BEF that you have there, which I'm now going to highlight in white. No, maybe let's write it there. This one, right? This one here is the one that you're going to try and uh, focus at. I've got 6P on one side, I've got 2P on the other side, and I know that light line DG is parallel to EF, so I can apply the proportionality theorem. And if this part of BD is six, it means that the top part also will also be 6, maybe x. And if the bottom part is 2p, this part will simply be 2x as well. Same variable, guys. Remember to keep the same variable. 6p, 6x. 2p, 2x. If you do this, you'll never uh, struggle when you're working with these questions. So once you look at what we were supposed to prove here, you'll notice that we've got the answer now, which I'm going to put in this beautiful box that we have here. They want you to write the ratio of be, right? Okay, the ratio of be over b. BG, right? That is going to be, look at BE. BE is from B to E, that is actually 8X, divided by BG, from B to G, you are sitting with 6X. And when you simplify this further, your BE to BG will just simply be 8 over 6, which is simply 4 is to 3. Very powerful question indeed. I hope you guys see what you had to do when you are uh, dealing with questions that involve ratios and proportionality. Always make sure that you take info, you populate the diagram, what you have on one side, the ratio, will come on the other side. And always make sure that you use different variables if you're transferring information from one side of the triangle to the other side of the triangle. Thank you very much for sending us that question.